In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a line chart where we can fill up the space between this line and the other one where we create eventually a line or a range chart, a area range chart, or a area line range chart. So let's start to explore how we can make this. In this video, we're going to focus on how to create a range area line chart in Chartcast. And this question came from one of my other videos about how to create a cumulative sum data point values from the stack bar chart. And in here, if we scroll down, you'll see this question came from Rafael Gomez. A special thank you to Rafael for asking the question. And this is what Rafael asked. How to create a range area and line chart in Chart.js. So to do this, we're going to get our default code. So make sure you go to chartjs3.com, uh, chart getting started, or this specific link here. You're going to grab the default code. For some reason, I get my error here on Google Chrome, but with Firefox, it does work. Anyway, what we want to do here is just to copy this chunk of code. And once you copy this, and if you want to understand what this code does, please watch this specific video here. We're going to paste this in here. Once I paste that in here, I'm going to cut out the line for the title here, put the title in there. Save this, refresh, and there we are. So now we have a bar chart. And what we want to do now is to convert this into a line chart. So in here, we're going to say here line, save that, refresh. All right. So once we have this, what I want to do here, just some final finishing touch is to make the line hit thicker. And of course, uh, make this a more smoother line. So we're going to make a smooth line out of it. So border width could be three, but we can just remove this. And then we say here, tension. 0.4, save this, refresh, there we are. So now we have this, what I want to do eventually is we need to have two lines. So we're going to grab here this line, and just duplicate this data in the data set itself. So we can say here, this is uh, start sales, and this is the end sales range. And then what we're going to do is just for the colors, we can just basically copy one specific color, put in there, put in there, Make sure you have a comma and comma. Background color, border color will be solid one. And I can just duplicate this in here. So I'm going to paste this in here. And then we save this and refresh. We should have now, we basically have two lines, but you might not notice these two lines because they're on top of each other. If I change this here, save that. There you are. So you, saw, you can see there is a difference. Anyway. What we're going to do here is we need to stack this. So we're going to create basically a stack line chart. So we say here stack on the y axis and we say this equals true, comma, and save this. And once we save it, save this and refresh, you can see now we get the stack lines here. So these are basically stacked on each other, nine. And then this one is 18 here. And these two together makes about 27. And you can see here there should be here 27. So what we want to do now is to fill up this item here. So we say here comma and we can say here fill and we put in here number one. Once we do this, put a comma here as well, we say fill equals one, save that, refresh, and there we are. So with this, we are now basically creating a range between these two items here, which is the starting and the ending range here. And the fill here will indicate eventually uh, the layers of it, which one will be first, which will be second, etc. etc. And this is basically how you can create a very simple range chart with your line chart. If you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to learn another type of range chart, which is the how to create the range bar chart in Chartjs, you can watch this specific video here that covers this topic.